Good afternoon, my name is Ron Shaw and I'm going to be your instructor on how to set up port security on a Cisco switch. Now it's very important that we control which devices connect to our um, Cisco switches. Now if you can see in my diagram here, I just got a little very simple diagram here that shows I got, two, I got a switch in here and we've got some ports we're going to configure. So we're going to take ports 4, 5, and 6 on this switch number 2 and we're going to sit there and enable port security. But before we do that, I had to sit here and go over some uh, rules about enabling port security. Now, one of the things we have to make sure is that we cannot enable port security on ports that are set up to be span ports. Also, we cannot um, configure trunk ports to have port security on them. Now, what we're going to do is, and um, we must make sure that it is an access port. Now, before we get in here, there's some very simple commands that, uh, that we're going to do. Now, in this example right here, I'm going to be doing switch port 4, or FA00, uh, FA0-4. Now, before we get started in here, I'm going to have to go to my switch and log into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start up PuTTY. We'll go ahead and run PuTTY here. Now, I'll just set in, since I am uh, consoled into the back, I'll use COM port 1. Now this switch here has no configurations in it, so I'm going to sit there and say no to this. We'll hit enable. Now since there's no, no configurations on it, uh, there's no password required. So one of the first things I'm going to do is give it a, a host name. So we're going to go into configuration mode and, and say host name, um, let's say SW2. Now, also I'm going to do a quick show run to make sure that there's no digital configuration left in there that could cause any problems. Now, as you can see here, this switch has absolutely no configurations on it at all. So now, the first thing we're going to do is we've got to sit there and get into configuration mode. Now, from there we've got to determine which ports that we're going to uh, set there and enable port security on it. Now, as I'd said earlier, ports 4, 5, and 6, we're going to enable port security. So, I'm just going to drop this down here a little bit, the picture here, and go here. Now the first thing we're going to do is, or the first command we're going to issue here, is going to be the um, switch port or the uh, interface command. So I'm going to get an interface FA0 slash 4. Now this brings me in there. Now remember I said it must be a, in the access mode. So we're going to say switch port. We'll just hit the tab key here. Mode access. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to enable um, port security. So it, again, the command is switch port, port security. Now, the next command here, this uh, port switch port security max. Now, this command right here is in there by default. So if we do not enter this command here, this will be the default setting. So now, when we do this, we've got to take into consideration how many, or how many devices are going to be connected off this port. Well, typically, we only have one PC in here. However, if I did have a, a, a let's say, a, a, a IP phone here, and we had an IP phone that was connected into this uh, connection from here to here. Now, we would definitely want to make sure that we, um, we uh, had um, the max of two. Now, you guys can see I'm not a very good artist with this pencil here. So if we had an IP phone here, then I would want to make sure that uh, I set that max to two. Otherwise, because this is what this is saying is the maximum number of devices that can connect to this to port. So right now I'm going to set there, and we're going to um, assume that I'm going to use a maximum of um, of two devices. Because let's say I, I'm going to uh, maybe put an IP phone in there later. Now the next command in here. What happens when we do hit the violation or we go over? Well, let's say I do. Well, we're going to use the command of port security violation. Now, there's going to be three different options that I can use for this. So let's go back here to the configurations and let's look at our different options. So we'll look at violations and we'll do a question mark. Now, I got protect, means that it's going to sit there and only allow those two, or it's going to send an alert. The second one is restrict, so if we did put a hub in here and tried to put more than two or three devices in here, then it's going to restrict it to the first two devices it learned. 
uh, on that port. And then any devices after that number, two, they will be restricted and will not be allowed. So once we pull off one of these devices here, let's say I, I had two PCs and this was a hub right here. Well, then um, if I put a third device here, let's say I'm going to just simulate this as a hub right now. Let's just say we had a hub here. And then I had a couple PCs connected off of them. Well, and uh, what would happen is, once these three PCs connect in here, what would happen is the third one would not be able to come in here because we told it to restrict. Now, I, I, I'm a little bit more uh, protective of my port, so I'm going to tell it to shut it down. Now, the next thing we have to do is we have to go back to our device and we have to get the MAC address for it. Now, again, it's very easy to find a MAC address, so let's do it on a Windows computer here. I'll just go to a, a command prompt, and we'll set there and do ipconfig, forward space all. Oh, I, I'm got a spell. I, I think I'm on a router here. And we'll do all, and we notice right here I can find my MAC address of my device, which is this, um, this address right here. So I would take this address and I would insert it into here. Now you notice that it's showing uh, three groups here. So my MAC address for this one would be in these groups. 001 Bravo dot 7771.6Charlie21. And that's how these addresses would go in here. So it would look something like this if I wanted to physically put this address in there. Mm, six Charlie uh, two one. Now I could take this command right here, copy it, and come back to my command here and paste it in, and then hit it. And now that would mean it. Now, another way I could do it is say, hey, I don't know what the second MAC address is, or I don't know the MAC address of my IP phone here. So if I didn't know the MAC address of my IP phone, then what I could very easily do is, I could sit there and say, hey, we're going to use switch port mode address sticky. Now, what this is going to do is, it's going to sit there and... It's going to sit there and learn it automatically. So, uh, so when that first device connects in there, it will learn the MAC address of that device. All right. So now let's go to Control Z and do the show run. Now, as you can see here in my running configurations of my switch, I've got switch port mode access on port four. I've got it set on port uh, access mode. I've got port security. I told a maximum of two MAC addresses will be allowed on this port. The first one, I'll allow it to learn it by sticky. So now, if I was to stick the phone in there, it would automatically learn it. And then what it would do is it would take this sticky right here and replace it with the actual MAC address of that device connecting. So any new device in here. Now, because it is sticky, it's going to remain and stay in the running configuration. So if you unplug a device and put another PC in here, or another phone that has a different MAC address, then you will have to sit there and remove one of these MAC addresses here, or there's a sticky command, and let it relearn that MAC address again. Now, let's go ahead and let me show you how we can do this in a range command and actually get all of our ports at once. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to do uh, I'm going to use the range command. Range FA zero slash five through port 6 because I'm doing consecutive ports here had it been non-consecutive then I would have or contiguous I would have had to put a comma right here and for example let's say I was going to port uh, 9 here I'd have to do FA 0 slash 9 but I'm doing consecutive ports here so what I'm going to do is I'll use a dash minus uh, with a 6 now first thing again I'm going to sit there and do the switch port mode access then from there I'm going to issue the command switch port security uh, I gotta say port security then I'm gonna set there and I'm gonna do a 
switch port max to and then I'm going to do a switch port violation violation uh, shutdown and that's just short for shutdown the, the correct command or the complete command would look like this and then of course then I'm just gonna go ahead and put sticky on here so we'll say Mac sticky and enter control Z show run and now you can see that I have uh, port security enabled on ports 4 and f uh, excuse me ports 5 and 6 and both of them are set to sticky now what will happen is as soon as I plug in my IP phone and if let's say if I plug this IPC and IP phone here into ports 5 it would automatically learn the addresses and then from there it would set there and put in the MAC address of that device right there Alright, that's all it is to set up port security. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little video on how to configure uh, or enable port security on a Cisco switch. And if you would, I would like for you to visit my website, www.3citraining.com. And for f other videos and test prep material for uh, Cisco, Microsoft, and CompTIA exam. Thank you and have a good day.